Well, people wanted to see it, so here we go. Om nom nom. As you can see, it's not an instant death thing, it only counts as one hit. But there was actually something that I was asked to point out with this. So we'll just continue the process. So I compared this to being eaten by the plant monsters back in Misty Bog. But there is one major difference. And so, here we are. I have Spyro reduced down to his last two hit points so I can show the difference between when you have health and when you don't. When you still have health left, you fight your way back out. When you don't... Yep, you don't get back out. That's right, Spyro brand. Mediocre dog food, delicious plant food. Anyway, with that... And so, onward to Haunted Towers. This stage, the main path is easy enough. It's the branching path that can be a bit on the tricky side. So we need 500 gems and 3 dragons. We're gonna see a lot of these suits of armor. Also, the Norks have basically given up trying to have a theme. I mean, here we are in an enchanted castle, and they're just trying to pelt us with grenades? We also have a Return of the Storm Wizards from Magic Crafters. Only now they can animate the suits of armor. Get too close to the armor, and it'll try and bash you with its helmet. It's fireproof and too big to tackle, so we're gonna need something special to take it down. And that something special would be the magic of a fairy's kiss. While charged up, you can use your flame breath to pretty much wreck everything. <laughs> we actually saw this in an earlier stage back in Magic Crafters, but this place pretty much takes the idea and runs with it. This is really where you're supposed to learn that you can do this. It's the first stage that actually has a dragon that even discusses it with you. Although it places that dragon after a point where you've already had to do this, which is... kind of weird. Also, for the purpose of gathering treasure, you do need to take out that first suit of armor, even though it never actually became animated or attacked you. But it's still holding a gem, so whatever. I'm gonna go back and get one more charge of this. There are more fairies later on that can enchant your fire breath in this stage. But it saves a little time to go ahead and take these guys out now. Cuts down on the backtracking a bit. I mean, hey, if I have the means to do that early, I may as well. Durgan! We've rescued Kosako. Hey Spyro, all dragons know there's magic in a fairy skiz. See what it can do to your power of flame. Uh, hate to tell you this, but there were suits of armor blocking the way to getting you. So, uh, yeah, we kind of already had to figure that out. Very strange placement, that. So there's some treasure to be obtained outside the castle here. And with that, time for another kiss. Spyro's a hit with all the ladies. And 
Up we go. And supercharge time. Coming through. We've rescued Lutalo. Hold your horns. Here comes Spyro. Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Slowly but surely, we are closing in on him. And smooches. I do love the supercharged flame breath. But with that, it's time for the branching path. Even getting to said path is kind of a tricky thing. You have to be fairly precise and really know where you're going with this. First over here. Jump off the ramp and activate glide. And there we go. Durgan! We've rescued Copano. You've become a master of the supercharge. Great work. But now we actually have to deal with things in here. You kind of have to race a wizard. He's going to start enchanting these suits of armor. And if you don't get to the top fast enough, one of the suits will actually block your progress. But we made it. And with that, we get something special. The kiss from this fairy lasts. Now, don't get too excited. It's not permanent permanent. But it does last you the rest of this stage. So now we can take our time. No need to have to keep going back constantly to recharge it to take out these suits of armor. Kind of a nice thing to have, just enjoy it while you can. Very satisfying. Once you're done up here, you can just conveniently fall down here. And we're pretty much back where we were. Keep your grenades to yourself. They do give you a fairy out here just in case you didn't find the permanent one. But, well, we hardly need that. And so with that... 500 gems, 3 dragons. We're good. But as soon as you leave the stage, well, there goes the supercharged fire breath. It was nice while it lasted.
so with that, time to find the next portal. Again, we have a bit of distance to cover. around here, up the stairs, and next time, it's boss time. We'll be taking on Jacques. So, back after a refreshing pause. And a music skip.